Okay, here's another example. Um, we're going to graph this and find the vertices and the foci. So let's start by looking at these numbers. Since this one is smaller and this one's larger, this one would be a squared and this one would be b squared. So that means b is the x direction and a is the y direction, so this ellipse will be tall and skinny. So the square root of 1 is 1, that's b. The square root of 16 is 4, so that's a. So on our graph, we're going to go the y, notice the y above the 16, so the y direction, a, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's one vertex at 0, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, there's another vertex at 0, comma, negative 4. And then this direction, we're just going to go over to 1, 0, and to negative 1, 0. So there's the graph. Whoops, I didn't quite connect it, but you get the idea. Then the last thing it asks us for is the foci. So we're going to go c equals the square root of a squared minus b squared. So that's the square root of 16 minus 1, or the square root of 15, which is almost 4. 3 point something, probably 3.8 or 9. So because this is so skinny, the foci are going to be very close to the vertices. So if we want to actually list the information that they've asked us for, we would say the vertices are at 0, 4 and 0, negative 4, and the foci are located at um, 0, square root of 15, and 0, negative square root of 15. Done.